Hi, Coach Jimmy here, and today I want to talk to you about what happens when you set goals and you don't hit them. For a lot of us, setting goals in the first place is really outside of our comfort zone. I mean, like literally taking a piece of paper or a whiteboard and saying, I want to achieve blank by blank date. Um, I know when I started both my fitness journey and in my business, that was something that was really out of my comfort zone because I literally remember coming out of my mouth in high school when somebody asked me what my goals were going into college and stuff like that. I literally remember saying, yeah, I really don't set many goals because, you know, I don't want to get to that date and not hit them and be disappointed. And I thought that was like really good philosophy because I was protecting myself. And you may be the same way. You don't set goals. You don't start things because you're so scared of failing that you would rather just not try at all. And man, you're robbing yourself of so many amazing opportunities when you actually set that goal and, and how you stretch. But let's say you did it. Let's say you set the goal and you busted your tail and you're like, man, I'm going to get there and you don't reach it. I'm dealing with that today. Um, I set a really big goal for myself and my business, and today was the deadline, and I didn't hit it, and I woke up this morning. Um, frust I was frustrated, I was disappointed, and that's okay, you can be disappointed. But does that mean I'm a failure? Does it mean you're a failure if you don't hit it? And I'm here to tell you no. Because I woke up this morning, and I didn't hit the goal that I wanted to hit, but my business is further along than it would have been had I not set the goal. Right, so let's say let's say you're here and whatever, and your goal's way up here, and you set this goal and you set a deadline. You gotta set a deadline because a goal without a deadline is just a wish. You're just kind of hoping, right? You gotta set a date, and so the date's here, and here's the goal. And at that time, what happens? I end up just getting to here. Now you got two choices right there. You can be really disappointed and feel bad and beat yourself up, or you can say, "Holy cow, I went from here to here." Granted, I didn't make it to the goal up here, but I'm so much further along, right? Um, and in my case, the goal was a group effort. It wasn't all just on me. It, it required me to, to train some other people how to do things, to enable them and give them tools, and when the hopes that they would put those into action. So in the past, also what I've done, it's been really easy for me to blame others that I didn't hit my goal, right? Well, this guy would have done this, and this person would have done that, and this would have happened, I would have hit my goal. And in a way, that's true. But on the flip side, I have to look at the man in the mirror and go, what else could I have done? And maybe it's not equipping those individuals with more tools. Maybe it was finding more individuals. If I'm only relying on one or two people to hit a big goal, maybe where I went back and I was like, you know what? I could have taught six more people those same skills. And if I had more people that I was teaching these skills to, odds were that two or three of those would activate faster than maybe some of the other people would. So again, at the end of the day, it's my responsibility. It gives me an opportunity to go to first say, wow, I am further along than I would have been had I not set the big scary goal and celebrate that. And then really look back and say, what part of this that I could control could I have done better on? And then they'll immediately set the next goal. Uh, so many people, they don't hit the goal and they cower or they go back and they feel guilty and they take all this time to like have these pity parties and your life's too short for that. Do you realize it takes the exact same amount of effort and energy and time to feel guilty and feel sorry for yourself and feel pity than it is to set the next goal and start moving in that direction to go, oh, I learned these two lessons. Let me go put that into effect immediately. So keep setting goals. You got to write them down. Mine are here on the wall right next to me. They stare at me every day. Because um, you got a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling is what's going to move you. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And then go after them, like with all of your might. And then if you don't hit it, look and see how much progress you made anyway. Celebrate that. Set the next goal and get moving again. Not hitting a goal is not the end of the world. And it's so much better than not starting because you're afraid of failure. Look, I technically failed. But I'm further along in my business than I would have been had I not been willing to fail. You can do the same thing. Set a great goal, get moving, and do a favor. Do me a favor. Put below what your goal is and give me a date. That way I can help keep you accountable and encourage you along the way as well. This is Coach Jimmy. Thanks for checking in and we'll talk soon.